All right, guys, check this out. Today, I'm going to show you one big reason why the Ford Super Duty is a winner over the Ram 2500. Let's get to this. All right, so this is my Ram 2500, and this is a short bed, Cummins. It's a great truck. There's a lot to like about the fifth generation current Ram heavy duty truck. They ride good. The Cummins engine's great. Interior ergonomics are great. The engine braking, best in class. But there's a big downside to the current generation Ram 2500 and 3500 if you fifth wheel tow. And that's what I'm gonna show you why Ford is a huge winner. But just so you know, it's not just Ford. GM actually has a leg up on this too. So we're in the bed of the six foot 10 inch Ford short bed. Two things I wanna show you here that are a really big deal. Look at the footprint of the factory puck system. Start to end, 32 inches. Now when we look from front to rear, what is that, 16 inches? We've got about 10 inches on either side of the wheel well, plus about 29 inches in the front and over three foot distance from the puck to the rear. So you could ask, why is this a big deal? It's a big deal when you have a short bed truck and you have a fifth wheel slider. And in the Ram, it's almost a requirement. Now let's look at side to side. If we compare both trucks here and you look between the axle and to the cab, the Ram box is actually about four inches shorter than the Ford short bed. The downside is when you hook up a fifth wheel, that distance from the axle to the cab has a big impact on the turning angle that you can jackknife your fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer before you make contact with the corner of the cab. So this four extra inches is a big deal. And I talk about this on my installation of my fifth wheel prep for the Ram that I just did. But this is a huge advantage, two big advantages of the Ford. This small footprint for the fifth wheel prep plus this extra four inches gives you a much better situation with fifth wheel towing. But even more so, with the Ford, you could actually get away much easier with not having to run this monstrosity auto sliding hitch. All right, so now we're gonna run the exact same measurement from the outside of the puck to this side, 43 inches. You've got 11 more inches of width. Look at the distance between the side of the wheel well and the puck system. So you're camping, you wanna use your truck bed. With an auto slider, Man, you only got a little bit of room here and a little bit of room up there and hardly any room to the side. Now let's look front to rear. Almost three foot. You've got 20 more inches of real estate this way, which takes away, which takes away in the front. And look at this in the rear. I can almost put my foot sideways and touch. So that's the first downside. But that four inches less of room between the center of the axle to the back of the cab almost forces you to a slider. And I know this is a controversial topic and people will say you don't need a slider hitch in a Ram 2500 short bed. I don't disagree, but you can turn a whole lot more of a jackknife angle, almost 20 degrees more angle with the Ford versus the Ram short bed. So do you need one of these fancy auto slider hitches? No, of course you don't. If you never have to really get in a tight spot, if you have perfectly level ground, if you never have to maybe get yourself in a pinch, you don't need something like this. But you could do the exact same thing with the Ford and have an extra 20 degrees of air where you could jackknife and not have to worry. But look at the massive difference there. It's just huge. I know there's pros and cons to everything. So what's the advantage to the Ram fifth wheel puck system? Here's two reasons I like the Ford puck system better than the Ram puck system. Number one, notice this has the gooseneck hitch all tied together into this one cross member. You can kind of see it's all one assembly, whereas the Ram assembly is actually five separate parts. But there is a big downside to the Ford one. You have to pull the bed. It's a huge installation process. I would take the Ram over that, even though it sucks with drilling the five different holes and getting underneath. This is way worse, in my opinion, pulling the bed than just sneaking underneath the cab. So I would give this kind of a, a little bit of a toss up. I like the design of this system. I like the footprint and I like that it's all fifth wheel and gooseneck all tied into one, but I don't wanna pull the bed. I wonder, because it's wider, is it stronger? Does it put more stress on this area? I don't know. If we look at how this setup mounts, it looks like a pretty solid setup in between. That's a pretty beefy setup. Ram's got a pretty beefy setup too. I mean, you got two for that one mount, and this is two for the side. 
I have no clue which one's stronger. I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is the amount of real estate this takes up and the amount of cab clearance you have with the bed. We go center of the axle to the back of the cab. About 44, about 43 inches, I'm gonna say. So now we do that same thing with the Ram. That makes sense, about 40 inches. That aligns with the four inches extra is between the axle and the bedside. And you can physically see that difference. And you could give me a hard time and say, Barry, you're such a Ford fanboy. Actually, that's not the case because I'm gonna show you that GM beats Ford pretty easily in this category. So they have a similar size bed. They both got the six foot, 10 inch bed in a short bed configuration. But GM actually does two things better. Number one, once again, this proves the point. Look how small of real estate the GM fifth wheel prep package, look how much room you have. That's like about 18 to 20 inches side to side and 15 there. This is even smaller of a real estate area than the Ford fifth wheel prep package. This is awesome. Look at all the room around. So if you're camping, you wanna put crap in the bed of the truck, this bed is so much more usable. But on top of that, the GM has, I don't know what how their technology works, but I don't know if they offset the, the fifth wheel prep package more, but for some reason, and I, I need to look into this, but the GM, you can jackknife the trailer more, like drastically more, like 10 plus degrees more than the Ford and almost 20 degrees more. Third party results from Superglide where they compare all three trucks in a short bed configuration, not even trying to show for the Superglide hitch. It just shows the configuration, but the GM does a really great job on this. This is definitely best in class for short bed clearance to the cab with jackknifing than the Ram. So you get two benefits with the Ram short bed. Number one, you have so much more angle that you can jackknife the fifth wheel. You could actually almost get away with not running a slider in a lot of cases where you would need a slider on the Ram, plus it takes up less space. I think the GM right here clearly crushes the competition. I don't know what the technology is behind the whole thing as far as do they center this thing? Cause that, this is one thing that's interesting. I'm looking at the middle of the axle. If we go straight up, I mean, it looks like it's still centered. Cause I know that's the big thing is fifth wheels are supposed to be positioned at the center of the axle, if not forward, but they're doing a great job and they definitely have best in class here. So if you're gonna be getting a fifth wheel setup, gooseneck, whatever, and you want the maximum amount from the factory without any offset hitches or any offset arms for your fifth wheel, the Ford is gonna give you a little bit more freedom than the Ram will and less real estate in the bed of the truck. Ram makes a sweet truck, no doubt about it. That's my truck behind us. But if I were gonna buy a truck right now, for one of those reasons alone, I'd go with the Ford over the Ram just for a little extra space in the bed. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.